Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Roblox tutorial video. Last time we did a tutorial on how to rig inside Stevenson's on this type of chassis. I, you guys seem to have really enjoyed it, and I really hope it helped you guys. Today, however, I'm going to be showing you how to rig rolling stock. Now, I will be splitting this into two sections. I will be splitting it into rigging... Let me open it up. Constraint-based rolling stock and VS2-based rolling stock. Now to get the now get it out of the way, constraint based rolling stock is basically where it, the rolling stock purely runs off hinges. So that's all it has, just hinges. It doesn't have any features that VS2 might have, like sound or being able to control it, stop being able to control the power knot of it. So I'll be yes, yeah, so I'll be showing you how to do both of these. I'll be starting with the constraint one since it's the easiest, and I'll be going on to the VS2 one to show you the differences. And to just show you now, I'm gonna just go hop into um, playtest right now to show you. And here we go, alright, let's see, let's let everything load up, let's go over to the engine, alright, so this is the, uh, so I'll show you guys first the one that has, oh, no, I'll show you guys the engine that, or the one that doesn't have audio, so let's connect to it, alright, we've connected, as you can see, runs just fine, but if you listen closely, you hear that there is no audio coming from it, oh, and I better jump out before the train crash, oh, and there goes the train, yep, that's, uh, gotta love it. Now I'm going to show you the engine that does have audio. It might be a bit hard to hear because you have the locomotive, but if I slowly go up to it, alright, and then I run backwards, if you listen closely, you can hear that it sounds, you can hear, you can clearly hear the audio of the axles moving. This is a, um, something I actually recently came up with, and, well, not recently came up with, but recently worked on. So now that's the, uh, one with audio. Alright, now I'm going to be showing you how I can, how you can rig both the VS2 hinge, well, the hinge one and the VS2 one. So let's start with the hinge one. So, to start with the hinge one, we will be taking this example model. This is actually probably, this is actually my first ever piece of rolling stock that I technically did that was a two foot proper one. It was a, uh, slight wagon. I will be putting it in the link in the description so you can follow this as an example model. So, as you can see, if we pull it out to here, this slate wagon has a front axle and a rear axle, along with having all the parts that are those chassis and stuff, and four gliders, which in this case are cylinder gliders, but I would suggest using ball or disc gliders. Although in my case, I just kind of use cylinder, which I guess is technically a type of disc glider. But yeah, anyway, I'm getting off topic. So, to start with rigging it, first things first, you're going to want an advanced weld. So we're going to go over to this model, this VS2 chassis, Copy the advanced weld 2 script out of that, and then we're going to paste it into the slate wagon. Next, we're going to be going to the front axle, we're going to be opening it up, and assuming you've already done this, you probably should have the colliders and stuff like that. There's basically just invisible uh, cylinders that act as collision on the rails. Now you're going to be going to the axle itself, you're going to be putting an attachment in, and you're going to want to make sure that it is in this direction of yellow that direction and orange that direction. Just make sure, yep, yellow facing either left or right, and orange facing up. Now you're going to be going into wherever you want. I call this, I named this the chassis. You can, you can, you do it as the same. You're going to be going in here, you're going to be putting an attachment, another attachment. Then you're going to be rotating it, so that way it's the exact same direction, and I would suggest duplicating it now. And then, if you want, you can move it out like here. Then you're going to be taking this, you're going to create a hinge. You're going to pop that hinge there. Then we're going to be taking this model and taking all the coordinates here, going up to this model, and we're going to be pasting it into there. Don't worry if you accidentally mess it up since you have the coordinates. Now we're going to be doing the same thing for this axle here. Let's see, attachment. We're going to be putting an attachment here. Good, good, good. Then we're going to be going to here, create a hinge, connect it to there. We're going to copy this all stuff and connect it all up to there. We'll pop it down there, and yeah, that's actually pretty much all you need to do. All right, welcome back. Sorry, I accidentally um forgot to I forgot to mention that if you have gliders on it, they probably won't show how the model works with not on wheels or not a track. So I'm gonna show you running uh, running now. As you can see, model works perfectly fine. A bit hard to push around, but I guess if you wanted, you could always just. I mean, you always you all you you probably want to put a put a like a. Uh, not attachment, a coupler system, like how I have on these model, I have these button couplers. So yeah. 
Now that I've shown you how to rig this version, it's all good and all, you know, the exclusive version I can work fine, but if you notice, there's no sound in it. You don't hear anything when the you don't hear anything when it moves around. You don't hear any clickety clacking of the axles moving. No, this is a soundless version of the model. Which, you know, I guess is fine if you don't want sound, but you know, some of us we do like our sound. So now I will be showing you guys how to rig the VS2 version. Now do take do take note, this is definitely a lot harder of a version to rig. So first I'm gonna be duplicating this model. I have to unfortunately clean out everything I've done already in here, which is not too hard. You just take this, take this, ding ding ding, all that. Which you know it's a bit pointless when you think about it, since I definitely need all these stuff back again. Okay, now that we have another clean model. So, to rig the VS2 version, this is definitely a bit more complicated. So, take this VS2 attachment chassis, you probably would have it around, and you need to copy all this stuff from the model and paste it into this model, paste into an original location. Then you're gonna wanna take this area, you're gonna align it all so that way it fits into there. Now, you don't have to do this, this is probably not something you need to do, but I like to do it, I like to move the, um, a handle down, you can also turn the A handle visible. Now you're gonna take the C tier, you're gonna go all the way down to here, you're gonna press disabled. You're also gonna remove the can collision, can touch, and can query. I don't know if these guys are required. I just removed the I just removed them all just to make absolutely sure. Then you're gonna go down to here to torque and you're gonna set it to zero. Essentially what this does is that now, whenever the that this actually basically acts as a wagon, it has no power and the seat cannot be sat in anymore, therefore, if you were to, you know, try to sit in it or whatever, you would not be able to. Now, we're going to make the seat invisible, so that way no one can see it, because, you know, that kind of ruins the entire effect. Now, comes the more tricky part. What we're going to do is we're going to take these colliders, we're going to duplicate them, then we're going to, well, we don't actually have to duplicate both of them, actually, you can only duplicate one of them. You're going to take this axle here, you're going to use the align tool, I guess you could do if you want, you could do it like that, to align it like that. Then you're going to go over here, oh, wait for the game load. You're going to go over here, you're going to duplicate this collider, and then we're going to align it to here as well. After that, you're going to take these two colliders, like so, and then you're going to go down here and press the Can Collide feature. Now, this is something I personally like to do, but I like to rename it to Wheel. You don't have to do that, it's not required, but it's just something I like to do, so that way I know what I'm working with. Next, you're going to go to here, you're going to grab this attach, atta VS2 attachment motor, you're going to go to these models here, like so, then you're going to click Paste into Selected. Now, as for now, as of now, I don't know why, they seem to be off by 3.5, they're, I don't know why, but if you want to fix it, you just go to position, press 0, and boom, these should be fixed. Now, this, now this model will ha now this model has, you know, VS2 stuff, but it has no sound. Now, what you would do next is that I'm going to include this model as well, as like an example as you can take. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the vehicle seat, you're going to take this sound, you're going to take these two scripts, copy them, and then paste it directly into this model, like so. Essentially, this sound, it will have a, a Roblox ID, I'm not sure if that'll work or not, but essentially, well, maybe not work, but essentially it'll have this Roblox ID. You'll have these two scripts, which I'm not sure I got, them. I think I got them from some free model. If, um, I'll credit, I can credit whoever down in the description who I got the scripts from. But yeah, essentially these scripts say a bunch of this stuff. And then says a bunch of this stuff, which essentially allows it so that way, I know, I'm pretty sure one of them might be a smoke script, but, well, actually I don't think they're both sound scripts. So basically, when the model moves, it will have this audio sound of, you know, you'll hear it, so. This model is essentially done. Also make sure that your models are anchored, that's also an important thing. So let's take this model, let's put it directly here. Oop, then we can remove the Z part, align it like that. And then if we go into the test, we will see it less, we will see if it works. So, time to hear the same sign for the moment of truth. Does this work? If we push the model along, indeed it does move. And if you can hear, 
it's, it's very hard to hear, but you can just barely hear. You can probably hear the um, wheels moving. And yeah, that's pretty much how to um, rig rolling stock in um, Roblox. Now, I'm sure some of you might wonder, I mean, there are some specific cases where you probably need to add weight and stuff, but if you build a rolling stock properly to look, you know, like have all this stuff, then weight is not really a big concern since the chassis will most likely weigh it down and then you have stuff like the body and all the stuff, it should help weigh it down. But if you are having weight issues, then what you can do is you could probably put like a invisible weight here, but I would not recommend that since that can cause a ton of issues with the men with the model with being able to be hauled by stuff and can also possibly cause issues if it's too dense, which is why most of this stuff doesn't really have issues when running, as you can pretty much tell. They are they run pretty well so far. I've had no real I've really had no issues. So yeah, that's basically how to rig rolling stock in VS2 and hinges. Now I will have to say the hinge system, I did get the, um, I actually did get the inspiration from Ethan, Train 1557 from, if I check in the toolbox, let's go all the way down, this might take a while since I could have to go dig through a lot of old stuff, see that's not it, 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 let's see, that's not it either. Yes, I got the idea from this old, from the simple old wagon he built a long time ago. Because as you can see in this model, it does have hinges, just like the system I did. So uh, massive thanks to him for releasing this model, allowing me to you know figure out how it works. Oops, and it loaded. I will link this model down in the description as well if you guys want to check it out. Anyway, I think that'll cover it for now. Thank you all so much for um, this great. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below and tell me all what else you want me to learn. What else you want to learn from me and what else you think I should do. Again, that'll be all for now. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.